What's going on YouTube, man? Welcome back. Uh, let me make sure I look good up in this camera to another video. Now, before we jump into today's video, man, you should have know what you should have been did. Like, comment, and subscribe. We trying to save the world. We trying to save as many people as we can. So make sure you hit that post notification bell so you don't get that post nut clarity, my guys. Now, listen, man. Listen, I was just at my house, right? As y'all can see by the title, I, don't, I currently don't know the title, but I was just at my house and I was trying to record a reaction video and I kept going through so much. You know, I don't know if it was the Lord trying to tell me my child, do not record those videos. I don't know if that was the devil trying to keep me in confusion or put me down or just make me feel like what I'm doing isn't worth it, you know, because I was feeling very discouraged. So I felt called, you know, I, this video is not even planned. This is straight off the dome. I felt called to bring you guys this video. Anybody who might feel like they want to give up, anybody for the faint hearted, you know, people who might not, their faith might not be as strong in this very moment. I want to send this video out to you because a lot of us, you know, when we go through hard things, it, it stirs something up in us. It, it makes us get emotional, you know, because just now I was like, man, this, this not even worth it no more. You know, I was getting frustrated. I was getting frustrated because what I wanted was not happening. It's like the enemy was trying to stop me from doing what I wanted to do. You know, and I'm not gonna give all the praises to the enemy because sometimes that's God as well, trying to show us that maybe we shouldn't be doing that right now in this very moment. But you know, when, when things are not going in, in the way that we want it to go, sometimes it can leave us feeling confused, frustrated. Sometimes we might feel like, man, is this even worth it anymore? And so we might give up. But like Galatians 6, 9 tells us, and let us not be weary in well-doing, for we will reap if we faint not. You know, I'll leave the Bible verse right here because I hate butchering the scriptures, but I believe I said it right. So that, that verse, it holds very dear to my heart because I feel like, you know, I can always go back to that verse whenever I'm feeling down, whenever I'm feeling frustrated, whenever I feel like giving up. You know, in, the, in those very desperate moments when you wanna give up, you might be at a crossroads in your life and you don't know what to do. I always go back to Galatians 6, 9 because that verse always reminds me that if I don't give up, in due season, I will reap a harvest. So I always try to go back to that verse. I always try to remember that verse because it keeps me motivated. You know, and this is why I felt called to bring you guys this video today. For anybody who might feel like giving up you know and i'm here to tell you do not give up because once you give up you you never know what could have been maybe you wanted to do something in your career maybe you wanted to do something that was going to elevate you to the next level and then when you give up you was this close to accomplishing whatever it is that you wanted to do and because you gave up whatever it is that you wanted to do it's now all down the drain. It's not, you're now back to where you kind of begun. So I wanted to send this video out to those people who, you know, are in a very challenging time in their life. They might not know where they're gonna get their bread from. They don't know where they're gonna lay their head. You know, and when we're in a scarcity mindset, that can really trigger a lot of fears in us. You know, that's why it's important that we you know, seek the kingdom every day. You know, that's why it's important to be prayed up, you know, giving our burdens and worries onto the most high because he, he can deliver us from these things. We just have to be humble enough to, to put our requests onto God. You know, whatever you want him to deliver you from, he will, he can do that. You know, so whenever we're in a scarcity mindset, you know, it, we operate from a place of lack. Giving up is honestly the easiest thing you can do. It's the easiest thing you can do 
because you're not pushing yourself to the fullest extent. You know, a lot of people gave up on their dreams and then later on in life, they regretted it. They're like, man, what could have been if I had followed through with my purpose? What could have been if I followed through with what it is that I wanted to do? You know, my YouTube channel is a perfect example of Galatians 6, 9. Because, you know, 2020, 2021 was when I was, you know, trying to strive to become a big YouTuber. And I noticed that my channel was growing very slow. You know, it was growing very slow and I wanted all the admiration. I wanted all the subscribers like now, 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 you know, and it was and when I wasn't seeing the results of my labor, it would make me feel down because I'm like, man, like I'm doing all of this and nothing is nothing is showing, you know, and then it would make me feel discouraged. But back then I wasn't really putting in all the work that I'm putting in right now. Like you guys see me uploading a video every single day. Before I wasn't doing that. It's not a surprise that I have 2K sub subscribers on my channel because I'm putting in the work. You know, and it's I'm still gonna be challenged as I go along the way because the fight never ends. It never truly ends. You know, and that's how the enemy can always trick us because when we when we see all the obstacles that might come up is going to make us want to quit. And I always say only the strong survive. We're going to be frustrated. We're going to be thrown off of our pivot. But you have to always come back stronger. You know, I could have easily said, you know what? I'm not going to record no videos. I'm not going to try to at least get something out for you guys to watch. I could have easily said, I'm not doing this no more. But I say, you know what? I'm gonna just come outside, find a quiet spot and just come up with a topic. You know, whatever I can do to help you guys, that is what makes me happy. When I can help you guys, that is what makes me happy. When I feel like I can't come up with a video topic or when I feel like something is just not working out the way I want it to work out, it makes me feel very discouraged because I, I feel like I'm letting you guys down. You know, and maybe that's something I have to work on. Maybe that's something I have to pray on. But, you know, I'm I'm still growing as we go. But I just want to help you guys as much as I can. And when I feel like I can't help you guys, it just makes me feel some type of way. So that is why I'm bringing you guys this video to show you to, to never give up. Never give up on yourself. You know, always keep that tunnel vision. Always keep the faith. You know, always make your works be backed up by your faith. You know, make sure you're putting in the works along with faith. You know, you can't just have faith because faith without works is dead. So, you know, never give up on what it is that you want to do. Even if this video only hits one person's spirit today, my job here is done. You know, and that that's the point of this video. No matter what life might throw at you, no matter what curveballs might come your way, you know, maybe you, you got laid off your job. Maybe you can't find a job. Maybe something, you know, if you're a YouTuber, content creator, maybe you, you're not getting the amount of views you're getting and that might throw you off. Just look at, at just look at that as extra motivation to just keep going, keep going. Because I promise you, once you take your foot off the pedal, once you stop, that's where you're hindering your growth, you know, and you don't want to limit yourself. And then in the future, you're like, man, what could have been? What could have been if I did this? What could have been if I did that? You know, because the best thing you can always do is try. Even if you fail, at least you know that you tried at something, even if you fail. So that's the best thing you can honestly do. You know, so even if this video only reached one person, I hope this video helped you out. You know what I'm saying? Just do not give up on yourself. Keep the fight. Keep striving for greatness. Keep going for whatever it is that you want to do. You know, and I promise you, you will, you will reap in due season. You know, whatever it is that you want, you know, you will get those things. You just have to put in the work and keep the faith. And that is what I wanted to say to you guys in this video. So if you guys took anything valuable or learned something new, 
make sure to drop a like comment down below your thoughts and opinions share this video with a friend because they will need it man look subscribe if you're not already subscribed i'll catch you in the next one and i'm out